Welcome back to Live, Laugh, Love Real Estate, Conversations with Lisa Loveland and Costa Hansis. Today, we have an exciting guest, John Rondi, with Johnny Drinks on TikTok. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for joining us. You we appreciate Welcome. you taking the time. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking the time and I'm quoting you, exciting guest. So I got to <laughs> bring something here that's exciting. And what's better than alcohol, right? That's so that's right. exciting. Yeah. Even if you don't drink, you could still enjoy uh, you know what goes into the preparation uh, of a good uh, of a good cocktail. So, yeah, I'll just kind of share with you guys uh, the beginning and and what TikTok has been for me and my son. Mm -hmm. It is a father and son account. It's a I would like to think more of a family account. It's although alcohol is a base of the account kind of is a, is a uh, maybe a mixed message um, because you need to be 21 obviously to legally partake um, but we all know there's some things you just can't control and so I'm not going to go uh, broadcast and suggest uh, anything other than what people should be doing and that's following the the, the legalities of uh, alcohol and the responsibility of, of being the person that wants to perhaps partake in some of those drinks right um but the account for my son and i was something that just literally came to us mm. we didn't go looking for this we did one video it got over eight million views the first video so when you have wow. that much wow. success for the first time you got to do it again and yeah. and literally i made a manhattan like I always make um, John's video, which he had never done before. And he's videoing me and, and he does this whole thing. We go out to dinner and at dinner, he and my nephews who are with us, they're laughing. They're like, oh my God, that, this video is going viral. And I'm like, what video? He goes, the video you make in Manhattan. I said, okay, well, what does that mean, viral? He goes, oh, it's got, it's got, it's got close to a million views. I'm like, Okay, is that good? What's a million views? I have no idea what you're talking about. So, P.S. I soon learn what that means um, when it gets eight million in the first three or four days. That's and this is pre-COVID. It's February 2020, so COVID was just kind of out there, and you know, to that end, in that point, we were out to dinner in New York City, so it was life was normal. Needless to say video goes viral um my son says we gotta do it again I'm like what did we do you, you videoed me making a drink okay i didn't spin a bottle i didn't do i didn't do anything different yeah. that i would do if you guys said hey john i'm coming over let's hang out for a little while so it's with that authenticity and reality of truly who we are that i made another drink and then another one and another one and now it starts to build an audience and uh, we're just having fun with it. And so that's the, the, the foundation from which this whole thing was born. Mm -hmm. And now you fast forward to here we are today, I guess, um, a year and a half into it or so. And we're coming up on a million followers on TikTok. We have 200,000, I think, on YouTube. We have another, I don't know, Pinterest follower. I, I, Instagram, John knows all the, the, the demographic details. I just show you up when he drinks. says to you know to do what i need to do and and hopefully i deliver yeah so uh yeah that's that's the basic short clip of it all and so you guys so you know men tell me what you need to know further i'll be happy to dive deeper yeah i'm i'm just amazed by how quickly some of these videos go viral and and some that don't and i'm just right. interested in understanding or hearing more about what do you th what what made that get right. a million hits? Right. What do you think? Lisa, what does your son think? If I do, if I truly do, I would bottle it up and I'd resell it over and over again. But the the only thing I can say that I've learned about TikTok and the algorithm of TikTok, there is certain times that are better to post than others. Mm -hmm. There's certain things you need to be true and I know I say authentic to your brand mm -hmm. um, and people sniff out if you're not mm -hmm. right so if you get too 
Uh, if you get too uh, regular, run of the mill like everyone else, well, then you're just like everyone else. Um, right. But if you're you're gonna bring something that's a little unique, mm-hmm. then people want to see more, right? Uh, so to the point of your podcast, well, what's different about you guys? I'm not quite sure yet because I haven't watched any. I I, I took a little uh, clip today, I guess that you you had on. Um, I guess it was on LinkedIn about a book you read, Blue Oceans and Green Oceans, or Red Oceans and Yellow. I, oh, yeah. Something about oceans. <laughs> yeah, Blue Ocean and Strategy. So, yeah, yeah. So, so you know, I, I only I only listened to it for literally that part, and then I had to take a phone call. But, um, you know, it's when you, you, you get somebody to click and touch, you have seconds, truly yeah. just those seconds, to grab their attention for them to want to hear more. Mm-hmm. And so the timing of when you do a video – and the delivery of what you're hopefully going to share with the audience is very important. Um, and likewise, the consistency. It's content push right. over and over. You, you're you're going to do it once. you got to follow up and do a second, third, fourth, fifth time. If one bombs, you keep going like anything else. You're so, not going to have success. You're not going to have, you know, 8 million viewers uh, on one video time, time and time again. Right. How many um, videos are but, you putting out a week? Um, oh gosh, I, I don't know. The, I mean, I'd say to you, we probably have about 475 videos since we started. So okay. uh, it's at least, it feels like we do one or two a week, mm-hmm. but it's probably more than that because we, we, we draft, we do a lot of drafts and then we look at them and then John's like, ah, I don't like that. I don't like the way it came out. So that goes to scrap. And then another one comes up and then, you know, there's, then there's things unsuspectingly that happen. Like, uh, the other night. Um, my daughter, John, wasn't around. I said, listen, I got to do a video. You want to do a video? So she does the video. And Jen, John comes back home and John's like, I don't like it. I'm like, okay, well, we're going to put it out because you got nothing else and I'm not doing another video. Sorry. So he put it out last night and it's probably got 350,000 views. And in our mind, I think that's a great video. Yeah. In his mind, he may have a different vantage point, right? Which is, well, it's not, it may not get 2 million. So I don't know. So it is what it is. It, it's a good video because I think my daughter and I are in it and it's genuine and it's exactly how it happened. Mm-hmm. She wanted me to make a drink before she went out. So I made a drink for her. And, um, you know, she's only 15, so that could be frowned upon. But <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. No, I'm only kidding. She's, t- she's 21. Um, but yeah, so it's stuff like that. It's just continually uh, time over task. Like anything else, right. this TikTok is a business. Mm-hmm. It's one that is monetized, um, that my son has monetized. It's um, it's a work. It's an effort. It's a progressive thing that um, you know he he earns every opportunity that affords him then. A, a place in which to be monetized. Right. No one is just banging down our door and saying, "Here, host this, and we'll give you, you know, a hundred thousand dollars." That's I don't know if that really exists, and, and if there's an opportunity for that. But um, there's plenty of shortfalls, uh, you know, smaller pieces and nuggets that you can have because vendors now are paying attention to us and they send us stuff. Yeah, that's. And if I like it, I use it. If I don't like it. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say I don't like it. You know, and that's the way it goes. Talk a little so. bit about about that because I think that's um, what I think we both find so so interesting is how people are monetizing it. What were some yeah. steps that you're? And I, I don't need for you to want you to give away all your secrets, but if yeah. there's something mm-hmm. you can give that you feel comfortable sharing, what what steps did you start with to monetize the videos? Well. So the, the easiest way to explain this, and again, John knows it better than I do. Um, there's a, a company, any company, uh, ice cubes, mm-hmm. literally ice cubes. They say, "Hey, use our ice cubes. We're like, okay, I need ice. I'll use the ice. So I use the ice and then the video will get some traction and away it goes. And then next thing you know, the conversation is from the vendor saying, Hey, can you do that again? And then John's like, well, sure. But, you know, what, what's your budget? Like, what do you want to do? Do you want to, do you want us to just keep doing this and adding you in and uh, you keep sending us ice cubes? Cause that's kind of nice, but he's not eating ice cubes and making a living off of ice cubes. Right. <laughs> yeah. So 
that's the conversation he'll have. And, um, you know, sometimes it, 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 it just takes its own direction in life. And they're, they're a company trying to get um, certainly some awareness mm-hmm. um, or any kind of company for that matter. And so then you talk and you say what's reasonable about how we include them in some of our videos um, and what that compensation might look like. So there's no um, you know, secret. Mm-hmm. It's it's what everyone does. Now, some some people, I think, go down a different road and, and maybe they decide they want to do their own merchandise. So they have an audience, right? And they have followers. And so they make T-shirts and they make hats and they do all these other things and they sell it on their website. Okay, that's another way to monetize it. The third way is, and in our case, we had, I think this is one of the coolest, one of the coolest stories because it, it speaks to really our very early development. I was making a, a bourbon drink and I used lit bourbon. And someone, a 16 year old evidently saw this and said, hey, dad makes bourbon, can you use his bourbon? So they sent us cases of bourbon. And I'm like, my son, I'm like, these two cases come to the door. I'm like, what, where did this come from? He goes, oh, so-and-so sent it. I look at the bottle, I'm like, wait a second. This is burning chair. I have burning chair. Uh, so who who sent this? Went to explain to me this kid who saw his father. I'm like, who's his father? And it turns out it's David Finney, who is the creator of not only wines but now bourbon. Who sold his business? And this is all public information. David Finney um, is Savage and Cook. Savage and Cook sold Prisoner Wine to Gala Wines for like three hundred million dollars, something crazy. And and now, my son says, "Oh, I talked to David Finney, and he's." I'm like, I'm like wait, who? You talked to <laughs> David Finney about what?" He goes, "Oh, they want to do a bourbon with us." I'm like, "That's great." And this is exactly how it's happening. We're not compensated by anybody. We're just having, you know, whatever. Just going about our business. And fast forward, they do a bourbon with us. And okay, now there's another form of compensation there, right? Because David Finney knows the added value of that. that if you saw our bottle of bourbon, it's really the burning chair bourbon with a, a label on it and a different label on it and a different um, balance of the bourbon. It's finished differently than a regular four year aged bourbon. It has uh, a Cabernet, Zippendale, and a Grenache finish to it, which gives it a subtler, more smoother taste than your regular straight bourbon. So anyway, now we have this bourbon and we're selling bourbon. And so that was a, an interesting, I think, paradigm switch a little bit from doing TikToks, maybe selling some merchandise, maybe sp- sponsorships with some vendors to all of a sudden now we're selling bottles of liquor. Yeah. Right. Um, and I said to my son, I still say to my son, I don't know how I got into liquor sales, but now we're selling bourbon so and i don't know if that continues but that's certainly the path that one of the paths that we were on um so that was a real cool um experience to go through and and so it's back to the point of that that we didn't look for that yeah that circumstance again came our way and people that hear this story both twofold one of the first video got eight million and secondly david finney contacted us we're like, oh, you're so lucky. You're so, you know, you're so bust ass lucky. This other thing. I'm like, the harder you work, the luckier you are. So That's right. I don't want to hear anybody saying someone hand me a winning lottery ticket. You still have to buy a lottery ticket. You have to make the money to go buy the ticket. You have to be consistent, buy the ticket every day, perhaps increase your odds of being lucky, right? Mm-hmm. So um he puts puts a ton of effort into this stuff. And um, yeah, there's other things that have come away, and we're um, still in the infancy stages of developing the next road. Because mm-hmm. you guys know, you gotta have irons in a fire. You guys, that's right. You know, kind of go down one, keep going, and get another uh, exit ramp off to see what's you know what lies ahead. And and all the while, you got to stay on that main highway because that road in of itself is going to end up taking you where you know you need to go, which is up over and to the top of a mountain somewhere. That's right. We just had that conversation so, before the podcast. This is perfect timing. Yeah. So where do What's you, that? Oh. we just had that conversation uh, when we were chatting before we got you on the line. 
Um, mm -hmm. where do you, where do you see that? What's your next mountain to climb? Well, we, you know, we have a few things that I, I think one is just staying the course, being relevant, consistent with what's now our brand, mm -hmm. right. And the authenticity of that through our TikTok audience. Um, we have all of a sudden now crossed over to YouTube. So YouTube audience is different and they require more lengthier content, right? So mm -hmm. we're going to do more podcasts. We're going to do more off-site visits. Uh, yesterday we went to, uh, which is funny because I'm trying, I have never, I like to eat and drink, but I am eating and drinking more than I've ever thought I would. Um, I'm eating hot dogs. Like yesterday we had these hot dogs, roadside hot dogs um, that we had. To, it's a, <laughs> It's a very well-known place up here in northern New Jersey, so I had to go check it out. Now there's another place that I got to go to, and a third place. So we're going to do all these little um, off-the-beaten-track tours. Uh, we did a donut tour down in Ocean City, New Jersey, where we have our summer home. And so I'm tasting donuts. I'm eating hot dogs. I'm drinking. I'm like, John, I got I to slow down. I'm 55. I, I like to work out, but I like to work out and have some sort of gain, not net negative from <laughs> – my you know, thousand calorie meal that I had. Um, so this becomes, again, a function of the next road is just doing different things, all, all still coming back to that same, you know, mainstream highway. Yep. Um, that's going to get to the top of the fun ultimately. So. Yeah, that's amazing. It's, it's awesome to see, like, you mentioned Blue Ocean Strategy before and kind of yeah. go to the point of that that book talks about creating value innovation, for example, creating value in spaces that there's a lot of competition, doing something different and creating your own market. And from what I experienced in TikTok, a big thing is relatability and then doing something niche that not a lot of people were doing. And then seeing you guys, I think one of the reasons why you went viral is a there wasn't really anybody in that space. There, there was other people like making drinks. I, I, I follow other people that like bartenders and different people that teach drinks, but there wasn't that father son connection where people right. would be like, exactly. That's my, my, I'm sure there's a bunch of father and sons out there, whatever relationship there is probably do the same thing you do. Just make the drinks back and forth. I've have been doing yep. it, but they haven't yep. thought about yep. creating that business, which sounds like John is your son's very smart when it comes to that. I know he started a different company. He manages that Stu United. Um, yeah, it yep. seems that he's very entrepreneurial, which I'm sure he gets it from yeah. you, but it's great to see that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess there's something inside of me, but I'm, I've never been self-employed, so go figure. Um, I, I think, you know, you just touched on the, the one thing that does resonate, and, and that's it goes back to authenticity. And our drinks and our page is different because it is a father and son. That's mm -hmm. what it is. It's a family father and son page. And we have our flaws. We, we're certainly not perfect this is you know if you saw the behind the scenes of what we do <laughs> i told them i said you should film the behind the scenes things because that to me That's is funnier yeah. And, yeah i'm sure and, it is and and it's so raw that you know we we our personalities in front when you have a one minute tiktok is just different than the five or ten minutes preparing for the one minute tiktok yeah um that's where YouTube so we go back in. and forth all the time about things that we should be doing. And, you know, it's hard. It's not hard to, to, to listen to your children and it shouldn't be hard to listen to your parents, but it is mm -hmm. right. Because the 25 year old thinks he knows better than the 55 year old mm -hmm. and the 55 year old is certain that he's been down that road before <laughs> yet the 25 year old doesn't think it's the same road and and so you know when i hear young people crave they crave for tell me how to go tell me where to go what to do i'll do it i'll do it i'll do it, it very few people stay that course very few young people let alone older savvy people know how to be disciplined and stay on a path mm -hmm. and it's it's a, again a true gift of uh, of a commitment to yourself when you figure out that I don't need to overcomplicate this. You know, um, right. John and I have these conversations all the time and maybe you're like this too. Read books, watch podcasts, listen to people successful, grab a nugget here, go. Okay, cool. Do all that. 
But at the end of the day, you just have to look yourself in the mirror and say, right, what am I really meant to be? Where am I carving myself out? What do I want to do? Mm-hmm. And it's the vision that is, is out there. So just discipline yourself. Stay on that course. And, and, you know, along the way, you pick up little nuggets from people who've done it before. But let's, if we're going to be honest with one another when it comes, again, the dynamic, I just said a 25-year-old and a 55-year-old, the dynamic is if the 55-year-old says you're on the wrong road, then you got to get off that road. Or you're going to just, you're just, okay, you'll learn yourself. And sometimes that's a painful step too. Mm-hmm. But, you you know, you you have to understand that if, you, if you're going to find something in someone in the form of a mentor, and then you need to commit to that. It's like anything else, right? So um, I kind of got off onto a different direction there with you. But um, I, I think, again, the, the other interesting part about what we have in my TikTok page or my son and I have it with the, with the account is we keep evolving. We keep right. learning from one another. And there's so much that he's shared with me that I never knew about and, and vice versa. So um, it, it is, like I said, a, it's a continuing uh, work in progress. And, you know, you just got to be lucid enough and, and flexible enough to, to understand and, and see some of the uh, the indicators of where opportunity is going to come. In. So true. God, I couldn't have said that better. No, yeah. <laughs> you but, sprinkle oh, those. And I, you, yeah. you do. It's not just the, the big thing, too, I found in the TikTok is you do sprinkle in. And I said that to John and I think in yeah. the first emails, like you do sprinkle in those tips along with like that you make in the different drinks, of course. But you do sprinkle in that advice and then the different sure. mortgage stuff as well. But I think people like seeing like, OK, they make the drinks. That's awesome and entertaining. But then people are like. I want to see more. Like, what do they do for fun? Like, what? Who are they? Yeah. And that's where the YouTube, I think, comes in, where mm-hmm. you guys can do like the family vlogs. Like, because I saw you guys went to Disney. I think your daughter, you did that. Awesome yeah, that was awesome. Video that was amazing to watch. <sighs> but, great. but now, for example, me, like, I'm invested in now. I've started watching you guys for a while. Now I'm like generally curious to see who these people are. And I guess yeah, certain cool. people will be like consumers, but then some people want to learn a little bit more and then see that yeah. behind the scenes, yeah. which is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And, and that's 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 probably. You know, that's probably my daughter getting engaged was not only one of the most memorable things that as a parent you can experience, um, but it's also uh, something, again, on social media, on TikTok, I think it got over know, 9 million views. And then it, something happened with the sound and the sound disappeared because of, uh, John was explaining to me, some sort of right or something to her owns a song. I, I don't know. Yeah. But anyway. That that's the that wasn't on TikTok to do anything other than commemorate a moment for us, mm-hmm. right? Just happened to take off. They could have got could have got a thousand views. Right, How but it, it goes back to the authenticity to, uh, authenticity part of it. You know, it was just so yeah. real. Yeah, and, and so we, um, you know, we. we I guess it's maybe more me, but I, I'm real careful about how much. I want to allow people into my life, mm-hmm. right? I, I, I'm not a guy that's going to walk around and and show you what I have. I, I don't need to do that. I don't need to show you my watch. I don't need to show you my car. I don't need to show you the the house or this. I don't need to do that. Yeah. You know, and yet again, some people, a lot of people, like to put that out in front. Mm-hmm. And I get it yeah. because it's flashy, it's fun, it's exciting. Yeah, it is. It's all that, but. Come on, at the end of the day, it could get taken away from you in a heartbeat or someone else is going to be bigger and better. So what's the difference? You're not you're not the best of the best. You don't have the best cars, the best clothes, the best. It, it, there's always someone or something better out there. Um, I'm sorry. I keep getting phone calls. And are you guys hearing this? Is it getting yeah, cut out? Or is it? The, okay, the cool. The screen gets cut out. So we can hear I'm you. just hitting. I'm just deleting people. Um <laughs> Which is not like me, by the way, which is hard to do because I always answer the phone. Now I've got four or five calls. I got to. I got to get back to people. Um, so my point is, you know, I always get asked, we've gotten asked from the very beginning on TikTok, we want to see your house. We want to see a house tour. And I said to my son, I'm not showing people my house. I'm not walking through my house. Why am I, Why would I do that? Mm-hmm. Well, because they want to see. I'm like, well, I don't know. Use your imagination. You see enough when we video, right. okay? It's a house. 
it's you know it's it's beautiful and I love it, but I, I don't know that I want to turn that corner and and go quite into that part of our our world. It's not necessary. I think what's more important is if we're going to be authentic and true and 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 committed to this direction. Let's just keep doing what we're doing and and share what we can share within reason and then the rest will find its again find its direction i mean if bravo wants to come in and pay us who knows how much money and wants to do with uh, some sort of show okay that's different i'll, I'll talk to you about that <laughs> yeah. but i also know from having seen many of those reality shows over the years you know they could tear you apart they'll tear apart families they'll tear apart because you know it's not it's not exciting reality TV and someone's yelling, screaming, beating somebody up, right? I mean, yeah. someone says, hey, someone went to jail. Oh, that's good. Let's get that. Someone got locked up by the cops. Oh, let's get that on TV, too. So that as much as right, social media and reality TV wants to see your ride, we all know what they want to see. They want to see the fall. They want to mm-hmm. see that, 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 that train wreck of sorts. So, um, you know, you, I think you just, we're all human. We all make mistakes. No one's perfect. Um, let's just keep it real in the sense that this is TikTok. In this case, this is a forum to have some fun, have some fun with it, and keep perspective on things. You know, so that's a great story, and it's such a great outlook. Um, it's probably a great place to stop because I know you've got calls coming in. But John, this yeah. has been this has been awesome. <laughs> Good. We, yeah. Really. So interesting. I, these stories are great. All right, cool. Well, we can pick up. I, listen, I, I'm interested in real estate. Obviously, I've been doing it for 30 years. I have plenty of uh, things I can contribute there as well. If you guys, if there's another segment, another time you want to do something, we'd love to. Whatever helps, guys. Whatever works. You guys spread our name. We spread your name. It's all Absolutely. the uh, community of sorts. So it's always good to meet people. I couldn't agree more. Absolutely. And we'll, we'll have you back all right. on. All right. all right. Good deal. Thanks again. All right. Yeah, you guys take care. All right. Take care. Bye, Lisa. See you guys. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye, Costa. Take care.